I'm not actually sure when I decided to become an architect, but I think one thing that I was always interested in was some aspect of the applied arts to a certain degree. Um, whether it's graphic design or fashion design, I was always interested in this kind of merging of creative process and then uh, some form of implementation into the world. And I think that at the same time, I'm somebody who likes a challenge and likes to take risks and high stakes. And I think architecture <laughs> attracted me for the level of complexity and the challenge that it posed. And, and lastly, of course, that it was, for me, something that could be incredibly significant um, as a profession and as an endeavor. Um, and so it was a great merging of all of those things while maintaining this kind of deep interest in a creative pursuit. I guess the first project that um, I would talk about would be the Steel Cloud project, which I collaborated with. Uh, with Hani Rashid. Um, it was an important project. It was a project that was a paradigm shift for us in terms of what we were doing. It was highly experimental. We took a lot of risks with it. Um, we dared to invent the program, and I think we addressed a lot of the themes that continue to interest us to today, uh, from cultural buildings, urban buildings, urbanism, to incorporation of technology, um, the impact of multimedia, not only on physical buildings, but on behavior, um, how we think about uh, cultural institutions in the 21st century and how they become relevant in our lives. And I think that we really you know, pushed the envelope, so to speak, on that project, and it's uh, remains a significant one and a great example in our kind of repertoire of work um, where we dared to imagine things and uh, put them forward um, for better or for worse. In that case, it wasn't a project that ever was built, but I think that it still exists nevertheless in the culture of architecture. Well, I think one of the most challenging parts of being an architect is uh, in the current context that we practice it in, I don't just mean physical context, I think that it's, it's really difficult to um, have what the art of architecture is appreciated by both your audience, your clients, um, uh, you know, a whole host of, of stakeholders. And I think uh, to, to try and maintain uh, a high level um, in terms of the qualitative and not to just uh, allow the quantitative to rule the day, to build things that are meaningful uh, as opposed to uh, being held hostage, I think, to kind of quantitative criteria, um, whether it's kind of like the bottom line or maximizing certain efficiencies of meeting certain other kinds of goals, which I think are all part and parcel of what we achieve, but I don't think that's the measure of a good work of architecture. <laughs> what is the future of architecture? What would I like the future of architecture to be? Um, I'm not sure if there's just uh, one future. I think there's probably multiple, multiple futures. I'm very interested in the fact that in the future that majority population will be living in urban centers. And so what is architecture's role in contributing to that environment and how do we make that environment significant? I think it's incredibly exciting. Um, it's something that uh, I think that architects with their ability to kind of think um, about the world at multiple scales and um, in, in all respects from kind of social position and creative position and a political position um, makes us potentially uh, important uh, protagonists in determining what the future city will be. I hope so in any event.